Here's two different ways to create this unique title sequence in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's get straight into it. So first off, import any clips that you want in the title sequence. So here I have two videos of New York City. Next, type out your text. So you can press T on your keyboard and just click on the screen right here. So I'm going to just type in NYC and under essential graphics, there should be two different shortcuts under align and transform. And this will basically center your text vertically as well as horizontally. Next, make sure that the text is above the video clips. So I'm just going to move this up and then we're just going to move this left. Next, go to your effect and search up track matte key and apply it to any of your video clips. Where it says matte, you want to select whatever video track your text is on. So if you look at the left hand side right here, it says V4 where the text layer is. Under matte, you want to select a video 4. So now that we apply this effect, the video only plays within the text. Right now we have a black background, but if we move our second clip underneath, now it suddenly becomes a background. You also have the option to reverse this track matte and it'll basically just switch through videos. I personally like this a little bit better. So now if we press play, it looks really nice. You want to add a subtle effect effect to the text so it blends in a little bit better. So if you go to essential graphics and click on your text and scroll down to shadow, you want to essentially adjust this last setting, which is basically the drop shadow. And you can see as we increase it, it almost feathers out the edges. And this is really nice because it sort of blends in with the background a little bit better. So when it comes to text, you can just simply click on toggle animation for the scale and position. So we're just going to move these keyframes to the front and then we're going to zoom in until we go through this text and you can make this a lot faster by moving the position if you need to and then boom we have something like this the issue with this is the animation looks a little bit weird because it sort of spikes so what we want to do actually is we want to start at 100 or something smaller and gradually build up so maybe to 100 like 15 right here so if we press play now it's slowly building up and then maybe during like a beat drop or something like that it zooms in fully and i'm just going to move the keyframes closer to each other so that these animations happen a little bit faster Lastly, you might want to ease in and ease out these keyframes. This basically just makes the animation a little bit smoother. So you can highlight a pair of keyframes, right click and go to easy ease in. And we can do the same thing right here, but go to easy out. That's about it for this video. If you guys don't have Premiere Pro yet, you can actually check out the link in the description for over 60% off the entire Adobe Creative Cloud suite if you're a student or teacher. If you wanted to improve this effect a little bit more, you can check out my speed ramping tutorial in the end screen, which makes the text animation a lot better.